There is an update for everyone who likes to broadcast live on Instagram. Now, however, with professional studio software or from a really professional television studio. Now, there's also the possibility on Instagram to directly send to an RTMP server via an external studio software. And how that works, I'll show you in this video. How are you doing normally? You open the Instagram app, tap here on the camera, and then swipe all the way to the right to live. And then you can review the settings again to check if this stream should be visible to all or if you want to hide it from certain individuals, whether it should be saved in the archive afterwards and so on. And then there's the second option. When the stream is started, you can also determine the target audience, whether it should be public now or whether you want to practice a bit for yourself behind closed doors. So, and that's actually it so far. Now there is a second function and for that we have to leave the app. Now we go to the desktop and there you simply navigate to your profile homepage as usual and then on the left hand side you will find the create button. So there where you can usually upload photos from the desktop. And now for some users a new button is appearing there, specifically live video. And if you press on it you can also choose an audience here, so either for everyone publicly or just for practice. And you can already assign a title to this live stream. I will simply jot it down, live is live, and then you can indicate that you want to begin now. I'll do this as practice, not everyone needs to see it. And then we start this stream, yes, and then the camera doesn't turn on, but instead this window appears where I see the stream URL from Instagram once and below it a so-called stream key that I can now use in my studio software. And at this point, it continues just like with any other live stream using live streaming software, for example OBS, where I can now enter these things. That signifies at this moment in time I am choosing the stream, simply copying this stream URL and then I am also selecting the stream key, copying and pasting it over there in that particular location. So, and now I can reconstruct my stage in this location, insert my camera image and express I desire to live stream that. I will perform this task briefly using this test image. Therefore, I will make slight adjustments to it on the screen at this moment. Utterly satisfying, plop, plop, plop. So, so that I know what actually arrives on Instagram, I built myself a grid. I initially created this for TikTok live streaming, and here you can observe all of these numbers, and at negative 10 and negative 9 and at 9 and 10, there is a red line. And for me, this is the limitation of what arrives in portrait format when this image is cropped on the left and right. And that is precisely how my video will appear live on Instagram. And we can test this by simply initiating the stream at this moment and observe what arrives after a couple of seconds. And at present, I perceive a stationary image in this preview on the desktop, but I'm able to discern precisely where my video is truncated on the left and right sides. And now I can click the Go Live button located here at the top right corner, and then my live stream has already started. On the desktop, I am now also able to moderate the comments and see the number of viewers. Yes, and this is what this stream appears like on your phone when you start broadcasting on Instagram. Yes, and how you can go live on TikTok with your smartphone or with software or even through an RTMP server, I will demonstrate in the second video.